The threat of Hurricane Matthew grounding air traffic into and out of Grand Bahama. The Grand Bahama International Airport shut down operations at noon today. But for some passengers hoping to catch that small window to fly out ahead of the storm, well, they were disappointed as their airline canceled their flight. Shashina Roll picks up the story from here. While airport officials released a statement that they would have been closed by 12 noon, some passengers on one airline say that despite showing up hours before their flight was scheduled to leave, they were told to go home without explanation. Passengers on American Airlines say they are outraged that they did not even receive as much as a courtesy call when their early morning flight was abruptly canceled. For resident Richard Miller, he says he confirmed beforehand if the flight was still on schedule, only to find out otherwise. Previous plans to travel, what were you told when you went inside to check in? That it was canceled, but uh, say 12 o'clock this morning, when I checked, it was still confirmed. Until I reached the airport, that's when the disaster happened. But Miller is not alone. These passengers were also greeted with bad news once trying to check in. I feel bad. I feel highly upset. And they didn't even call us or let us know, you know. It's very heartbreaking. I do understand that we have a storm coming. However, yesterday they confirmed at 11, at 11.30 today that they will be flying out of all other Dale. Now, since they changed the schedule, they should have said, well, let's reconsider that time to 7 a.m. and have everyone fly out at that particular hour, but nothing was said. And these residents were not the only ones sent home packing. Three visitors, two from Liverpool, England, and one from Houston, Texas, were also told that their flight was canceled without notice. They could have easily, I mean, some planes have gone today, if they would have not going to use more planes, they could have had at least had one flight yesterday and we all could have gone. So now we're going back to the same hotel where we stay and then probably we have got to leave that place and go and stay in a shelter. And perhaps the saddest part of the story is the fact that these residents say because they had no plan to stay on island, they have not prepared for the storm. The stuff I had, I gave it to the neighbors because I know that I wasn't going to be here. Now I got to start making preparation. I wasn't scared of the storm. The storm don't scare me. I trust in the supernatural God. The only thing I can do now is wait and hope that Saturday, depending on the severity of the storm and how it affects the airport, I'll have to wait and see if I can fly out early Saturday morning. Do you live here? I do. I'm actually traveling for a cruise that is scheduled to leave at 4 on Saturday. And so if I don't get on the cruise, then I forfeit $1,000. Now our news team tried to gather some answers on what exactly happened from the local airline officials here, but they were told that they could not speak to us. Instead, we were advised to call their corporate communications department in the United States. Shashina Roll, ZNS Network News. And now the safety note from the Grand Bahama Power Company that should help to keep consumers safe during the time of storm. If rising water threatens your home or if you evacuate your home, turn off your power supply at the circuit breaker panel or fuse box. Remember, electric current passes easily through water, so stay away from downed power lines and electrical wires. Do not drive over and do not stand near downed power lines. That safety message was brought to you by the Grand Bahama Power Company. Stay with us, there's more after this.